yo what's up everybody welcome with a brand new topic and in this video i'm gonna try to help you to fixing the d3d11 compatible error into the fortnite chapter 3 so guys a lot of people are getting this error because they have a low end pc but in this video i'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem on your pc 100 by just simply following the simple steps so make sure to watch my this whole video so let's start over this video so guys first of all you need to guys make sure to update your driver all this onto the latest version because this is the most basic step to fixing that error but still after updating your driver you are still getting the problem so guys then you need to download this one and only this best b3d11 compatible gpu error fix pack on your pc so guys for downloading this boost pack you need to open up the link from descriptions or simply you can open up your browser and search for uptopacks.com and guys here you will find out this kind of website so you need to click on this post and it will directly take you here onto over this website so once you are here you need to simply scroll down and here you will find out this post which is the dxt311 compatible fix so you need to click here on this post scroll all the way down or you can guys also read all my this post here i also describe you everything because of that you are getting this problem so you need to scroll all the way down and here you will find out this kind of download button and you can also watch my this last old video on my channel it is also available and help a lot of people so you can also try this one so now click on this download button and download this pack on your pc once you go to this pack here on your desktop now it's time to extracting or executing over this video by using this new boost pack so once you got it you need to right click here and simply extract it here using any extract folder i'm using right now the winrar you can simply download the software for free so once you got this folder you need to open up this folder and here is these two folders or two files so you need to open up this first folder which is the visual c runtime all in one october 2018 folder so you need to open up this folder go open up the folder again go inside and here you will find out this button for install all the bad file for installing all of this files manually by clicking onto the everyone i suggest you to double click here and it will start installing all of these microsoft visuals back on your pc and guys this is basically the main issue because of that you are getting this problem and here is our visual c runtime is now installed on our pc so now guys let's go for our next step and here it is the dx web setup.exe file so you need to open up this folder or this application click accept the agreements click next and here you will find out this bing bar make sure to uncheck this box this is actually the uh, promotion so you need to click next and here it will uh, start downloading the dx you need an internet connection for installing this dx variant on your pc and here it will start downloading it is 5.9 mb file it is just take a second so now you need to click on this next button and uh, it will take some time so once guys this dx runtime component is downloaded and installed on your pc like i'm showing you right now here in front of your screen it is just take a second and here downloading component is complete now it is start the installation of the component and again here it will take just a second so here we are then guys so guys once you install this d3d11 fix pack on your pc now you need to do some settings for your fortnite directory therefore you can fix it so guys simply you need to go straight to where the directory where you have installed your fortnite so guys you need to go into the file explorer and most of the time people install the fortnite onto the c drive because this is the default location but you can guys go according to your location where you have installed it so you need to go straight to where this c drive go here into this program file here you will find out this epic game folder fortnite fortnite game binary win 34 and guys here you are into this directory now you need to simply scroll down and here you will find out these four exe file and now you need to follow the settings which i'm going to show you so right click here go into the properties and here you will find out this compatibility option you need to go straight into this one check mark on to run this program in compatible mode with windows 8 make sure to select the windows 8 here once you select this one now click here onto the disable full screen optimizations go into the change high dpi settings over the high dpi click ok apply the settings and click ok again so guys once you do this step now i'm going to show you another step it is also guys happening a lot of time because of this battle eye and this easy anti cheat so guys i suggest you to delete these both software from here like for deleting the software you need to simply right click here 
click on the delete button delete this folder right click here and delete this folder once you do this step and you have also changed all the settings which i show you into this first file you, you need to apply all the settings onto this four file of the fortnite once you do it now you need to simply close out this folder now press windows r together from your keyboard and type your app data and press enter once you are here you need to go into the local folder go into this fortnite game folder save and here is guys all these files of the fortnite which is the hidden file and the temporary file of the fortnite now what you need to do you need to go into this demo folder and if some file is available here so make sure to delete all of that file go into this log sections and also make sure to delete all of these files now go into this lms folder also delete these files and here is the cloud one also delete this file once you do this so guys now simply close out this folder and now you need to do another guys settings for your cpu because if you have a low end cpu and you want to increase the performance for running the fortnite so you need to do the settings so right click here go straight into this device manager and here you will find out an option like uh, system devices click on this drop down and here you will find out a lot of list of the devices find out the high precision event timer and guys but before using this option on your pc i suggest you to so guys try it one time and because for some pieces this is change some settings and because of that you get like blue screen or the black screen error in your windows so therefore guys it is depending on you but guys i suggest you to so guys try it one time because if it is work so you guys you you can easily fix the error of the fortnite so guys for disabling this device you need to right click here click on this Disable device, click yes and close out this device manager. So guys, here is our last and the final step to fixing this error into the Fortnite. And guys, you need to go in your Windows search and simply search your Epic Games Launcher. Open up your Epic Games Launcher and once you are here, you need to go into this library sections and make sure to guys verify your Fortnite. So find out your Fortnite, click on the three dots and click here on this verify button. And guys, once you verify, so it is guys reinstall all of the file which we have deleted like the battle eye and the easy anti-cheat one because that will renew guys these files and guys hope so you will fix these errors into the fortnite on your pc and guys i hope so you love this video so guys please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to share your opinion about this video in the comment sections so till like the next video peace out Detected some unusual seismic activity. Maybe the island has a nervous stomach after its little gymnastics routine. Or maybe it's something worse. Would you mind hiking up those perilous, deadly mountains? I need you to check on my seismometers.